Hi you guys, welcome to my brand new YouTube channel, Homeschool at Heart. My name is Leah. Um, I am a homeschool mom of three little girls. This will be our sixth year homeschooling and um, I gotta say I'm really excited to get started this year. We're gonna be starting um, the day after Labor Day. So, uh, in past years, we've started earlier than that. I'm not really sure. Our charter um, decided to start a little bit later this year, um, and we're grateful for it because we're totally enjoying the last little bit of summer as we get ready. Um, and I decided to take this opportunity to get on here and start this channel. Um, it's been on my mind for, um, probably about six months and I just have dragged my feet. So, um, first of all, why homeschool at heart? I, um, it goes a little bit into my journey as a homeschooler. Um, my mom pulled us out of traditional school, um, right after I graduated sixth grade. Um, my brothers and I had been at a small private school and the school was lovely. Um, one of my brothers and I struggled a little bit with, um, bullying, not terrible, but enough, you know, um, but private school education is really expensive and my parents did not feel like it was, um, the right thing for our family to go into public education. And so my mom decided to homeschool us. I have two brothers and a sister, um, my sister was just a baby at that time, so um, she had junior hires, um, elementary school, and a toddler just right off the bat starting her homeschool uh, journey, and I applaud her. <laughs> that was a rough go, I think, probably for the first couple of years, but she is a saint, and she did it, and we all ended up with an amazing education because of her. She is such an inspiration to me, um, and she helps me as a homeschool mom, so that's so exciting. I'm so blessed to be able to live near her and to be able to draw from her um, strength and her wisdom on that, but all of that to say, I loved homeschooling. Um, I loved being a homeschooler. I am a natural introvert, and so um, I just thrived um, after we came home. And I just knew from the time that I was in seventh grade that I wanted to homeschool my own kids. I always wanted to be a mom. Um, I never wanted to be like an actual, like, um, classroom teacher, but I knew that I wanted to teach my own kids. And, um, I have had just such a heart for teaching my kids. Um, and also then, you know, just in the last couple of years have really, uh, been interested in helping homeschool moms. Um, I'm hoping that this channel is going to be an encouragement, um, to, all of you mamas out there. Um, so I do want to talk about our homeschool a little bit. Um, we have up until this point been very traditional about our approach to homeschooling. Um, and I have been researching in the last year about different methods of homeschooling. Um, and I feel like we're going to be kind of turning away from that a little bit um, this year and going more, a little bit more classical or Charlotte Mason, um, towards what we're doing with our homeschooling. We are not going to just like a hundred percent change everything we're doing right away, but kind of working on changing those things. So you will probably see a little bit of everything <laughs> kind of going on, um, in our day to day. Um, I just felt in the last couple of years a big slump um, as far as my attitude towards school um, and especially my oldest child's attitude towards school. 
Um, like I said, we have three little girls. Um, this year they're going to be, my oldest will be in fourth grade, then the next will be in third grade, and then we'll have a first grader as well. So the last two years have been a real struggle with certain subjects with myself and my oldest child to where we really even like considered does she need to be put into a tra traditional school, which I... I kind of evaluate it on a year by year basis anyway. Um, I've always said that if one of our kids needs to be in a classroom with other kids then and a, and a different teacher besides myself, then I don't really have a problem doing that. But I don't wanna be hasty in that decision because I really love having my kids at home um, and just building those really strong bonds and relationships with them through our homeschooling. So, um, I think that changing our approach to homeschooling this year is going to be so good, especially for her. So, um, and kind of like ending this video, um, I do want to just say that I am such an imperfect mom and homeschool parent, and I want to be very transparent and honest um, with you guys on this channel. I don't want it to be something where I only show perfection. I don't, I want it to be encouraging. Um, and I hope that by showing all of it, uh, it, it is going to be encouraging to like that mom that feels like she's not doing it all right. Um, because let's face it, none of us are doing everything right. YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and all of the social media pl platforms really just, we get to put for forth, we get to put forth what we want people to see <laughs> and not what the reality is. And so it's going to be my goal and hopefully you'll hold me accountable to this to show what real life is. So homeschool is beautiful and fun and um, exciting and all of these wonderful things but it's also hard <laughs> so um, it's messy it I have mom guilt every single day over like every single mistake that I make I am always with my children I'm an, like I said before I'm an introvert so I like crave alone time and I always feel guilty about that because you know I signed up to homeschool my kids I knew that they were going to be here all the time um anyway I just want you all to know that I really care um I really don't want you to feel like I um am better than anyone else at any of the things and I just want you to know I'm learning right here along with you um, you will see me as a crafty person. Um, I am a person who loves coffee. I am a person who loves Disney and Harry Potter and lots of things. And they kind of all wind themselves together in, um, how I d live my life and do, uh, school here with my kids. And so if you see those things and you think, how did she do that? It's, I, I, it just is self-care to me. So, um, I, uh, just, I just don't want anyone to feel like they have to be the same parent that I am or the same homeschool mom that I am. Um, and because I know when I watch a YouTube video and I go, oh my gosh, look at that person with their perfect house or their, you know, like, um, their kids who always have their hair brush or their kids who look, you know, like so put together all the time. Their homeschool life is like, so it's not, <laughs> mine is not either. So anyway, I love you. And, um, I hope that this video was kind of a helpful peek into what you can expect from homeschool at heart. Thank you.